Hi Tech and Talk, welcome back. In last video, I demonstrated how to migrate your project from ASP.NET MVC 4.7 to 6.0. In this video, we will see how you can upgrade to 7.0 framework. And before that, let me run my application to see how that legacy application looks. Let me press Ctrl F5 to show you guys the legacy application. And meanwhile, we can double check their framework. So my web app is on 4.7 something at the moment. Yeah, 4.7.2 and uh, one of the library I have used. So it will also be on 4.7 framework. Okay, so this is how like the application looking like. So you can see that this is the same template that was previously available uh, in .NET framework. So application is working fine. Uh, navigation is working fine. And we are going to update this application into .NET 7.0 today. All right, for that one, I already have installed the upgrade assistant uh, with Studio extension. Although we can do that through command line tool as well it's your choice there is one video uh, in my channel that i have utilized this package to do the upgrade but for now uh, this time i will be using that upgrade assistant with studio extension so i already have installed this one and if i now go to my solution and right click to my web app there is great option coming i will click on this one and there are two options uh, upgrade project features or upgrade project to a new dotted version i will click this first one next i will go for side by side upgrades and i can upgrade this project and uh, use that into existing project i or i will i can create a new project so i will go for the new one i will click next then the name option i will going to select web app code and uh, for asp.net mvc based uh, projects we have two options we can use mvc core mvc or core web api because i haven't utilized the web api features in my project the legacy project i will go for core mvc one this time and i will click next now i have a couple of options i can upgrade that one to 6.0 or 7.0 or 8.0 which is currently in preview i will click on 7.0 this time uh, which is current version of dotnet so i will click this one and click next and these are the different actions will be performed when i click on finish so from existing project the different components will be moved into new project template i will click finish and there are a couple of steps which will be performed you can see on the ui for each and every step it is getting executed and status is displayed at right the end of that line so currently four steps are done fifth is in process it's a very very handy you know extension and uh, within few seconds all of your projects will be upgraded so now everything is fine and in green signal i will click done as soon as i click done i have now a couple of options available here i will go with upgrade controllers because there are a couple of controllers in my previous legacy application which i want to upgrade to dotnet 7.0 i'll click this option here and i will be presented with all the controller options currently i i only have one controller in that legacy application i'll click on this one and we'll click upgrade and i want this every class included to be upgraded routes and views as well i will click upgrade selection and it will perform again a couple of steps to produce the those newly created files for me so seven succeeded zero failure which is good all right so let me rebuild my my new project not legacy one new project let me rebuild this one and see if it's built successfully yes it's built successfully let me run this new template all right right after i initialize the application i am present that no index.cshtml is found and that fine i know why because there is no runtime support for the views at the moment in this new template i will click on uh, right click on this new project and we'll go to manage new get packages and i will go to browse and we'll find one package here uh, which is razor runtime compilation that is required when we want to use views runtime in our project so i select this one and install all right that was first step secondly i need to go to program.cs file right instead of this one i will call dot um add uh, runtime compilation this one 
so this option is now available right after i install that package i will again press ctrl f5 to see my project it's getting refresh you can see that okay next thing is uh we have that error that that method is not available because that is coming from a library and which is this one here and library is currently also on 4.7 uh, and we know that we can't use you know dotnet framework based libraries into dotnet 6 or 5 or even dot and po so we need to convert that project as well so for that one i will be which means if there are a couple of libraries that are referenced in your project so you need to upgrade those libraries as well so i will click on this one and click on upgrade i want to upgrade uh this right away there are a couple of options i will use the first one to upgrade that project without creating any copy i will upgrade to dotnet 7.0 um and if i was using the same library into legacy application and a new converted application i need to go to into those two versions because these are the bridge frameworks that can you know if libraries are built on those frameworks we can use on legacy and the new um, .NET framework in the same way at the same time so but now uh, I have known that dependency so I will go over with .NET 7.0 and we we'll click next okay I want to get all those components all right those steps are done okay and next thing is i need to double check if that project is converted you can see that it's already now on dotnet 7.0 and again next i need to reference that project here in this web app and to double check i need to go to the view shared layered file to see if that method is accessible from here or not so that is accessible which is good let me rebuild that again set as startup project and initialize that again so that was the legacy one uh, which was on 4.7 and now let's see how it looks in dotnet 7.0 all right so it's now uh, running fine you can see that navigation is working and inside the footer you can see copyright uh with year is appearing the only thing is not disturbed is the styling so for that one we need to do two steps first one from legacy application uh, we need to go to the legacy project and need to copy few folders one is content the other one is scripts let's copy those folders from here and inside your new project create a new folder name it www root and inside www root so this is the folder in new version that all the static content should be placed here so i will right click this one and click paste so content and scripts are here now in this folder next i need to reference those into my layout file i will go to my layout file and here i will be using my style the custom style and the bootstrap style in this template let me again press ctrl of 5 to refresh the application yeah you can see now so these are the all steps that are required to upgrade your legacy application which is built in dotnet framework 4 to .NET 7.0 the routes are working fine you can see the styling is working as it is so there is no as a change now into the legacy application and the new application that was all you need and in the case of any question or queries do ask me in the comments i will create further videos to upgrade application from dotnet 6.0 to 7.0 even in dotnet 8.0 and in the same way from dotnet framework 4 to dotnet framework 8.0 and 6.0 just to present you guys a couple of things that uh you need to take care of while doing upgrade and that upgrade as assistant extension is awesome so stay tuned and keep coding